to my channel. Today we are going to Goodwill store, which one located at Hollandale Beach, uh, Florida. Let's see what we can find. First, when I get inside the store, I like to go and uh, look for shoes. And after, I'm going to look different things, then a jeans section, and uh, everything else after. Okay, so let's go check shoes out, and then we come back to look for jeans. When you're doing this for a while, you already know the brands, how they look, and everything else, so you don't have to, you know, pick it up each pair of shoes, each pair of jeans to find out what brand is that. So that's why uh, let's look really fast and see if uh, something interesting we can find today. They always have this kind of funny <laughs> dancing shoes, but anyway, keep looking because you never know what you can find. Let me see what brand is that. Uh, nothing interesting. Some people surprised, like, wow, who going to wear used shoes? You going to be really surprised. The shoes sells very good, even better than just the clothes, and you can make really good money from shoes. For example, you could buy sneakers here for like three, five, ten dollars, and you can sell them for forty-five dollars and maybe more. But always look, make sure it's in a good condition. If it's really bad, I'm not taking them. I'm not, I don't want to spend my time, you know, cleaning them, fixing them. No, I would just want to come home, uh, make a picture, sell it, ship it, make my money, next. Of course, sometimes, yes, I would get some shoes, which one is, I know for sure is going to make me good money, and it's really good brand, which one's selling really fast, then yes, I'm going to take it, I'm going to try to fix it, but most of the time, I'm going to skip this. And always, uh, if you see a cart full of stuff, go and check it out. There's a new inventory they try to put in and see what you can find. That's what I'm doing right now. I have some vans, I have another sneakers. I'm just going to grab everything and put in my cart. And after, I'm just going to go on the side and check it out what I got. So far, I have a couple uh, pairs of vans. I have some Nike. I have some uh, um, another sneakers. We're going to check it out later. And now when I look at all the shoes, it's the time to go my second favorite section, it's the jeans. So I have a plan when I'm going to Goodwill store, uh, first I'm going to shoes and bags, jeans section, then I'm going to the section where you have different, uh, like, a, you know, like a toys, uh, some house uh, stuff, some little things to watch. And after, I'm just looking the rest of the clothing and just everything else if I still have some energy left, of course. So from all stores I'm uh, usually going, this one is um, kind of the best. I always find really good uh, clothes and shoes in this store. It's located in Hollandale Beach, uh, Boulevard at Hollandale Beach. So let's check it out some uh, jeans and uh, shirts and skirts. I always look for any new kind of brand. If I see something interesting, something unique, I always pick it up and do my uh, research. And um, let's see what I can find today. As you can see, I always uh, like to, if I like something, I'm going to grab it and leave it in my car. Just make sure nobody else to, <laughs> nobody else take it. And uh, I get my car full of stuff and I go on the side and uh, taking my time to do my um, research about this uh, particular item. So I find this uh, pair of jeans uh, looks uh, interesting, looks very different, very unique. Um, then this brand, this skirt is a uh, new brand for me, but I did my research, it's actually a very expensive brand. So a brand new skirt like that costs about $228. Uh, sales and then Neyman Marcus and Bloomingdale's, I think. Then I got this diesel jeans. Uh, diesel jeans, I have some uh, men's uh, diesel, but it's not selling good for me. I think more like you, people from Europe like to 
wear this brand it's kind of expensive brand jeans cost like that about 250 300 dollars jeans but it's not uh, really selling good in us i don't know why anyway i decided to take this one because i like them myself maybe i'm gonna keep it never know Okay, and now we're going all the way and back to see what we can find today. Maybe some vintage teacups or plates or maybe some painting. Let's see. Sometimes I go, I just uh, was looking and sometimes even passing this section. But after I found some good stuff at Goodwill Bins and I find out different brands and which one costs like hundreds of dollars now i'm always going to section with uh, plates and cups and stuff like that always uh, look on the back the name sometimes as you can see the year and uh, do my research all the time what i don't i don't like about goodwill sometimes somebody donate them like um whole stuff for the kitchen like plates cups bigger plates smaller plates and they just break them apart and sell them separate or sometimes even put them to different stores like for example i have an example like some couple months ago i found a couple plates in one store and then i go to different goodwill bins in different location and i see cups from the same kind of uh, you know stuff like what are you guys doing like you see this pretty place it's only two or three here where is the rest where is the rest and of course if you want to sell this it's more chances to sell if you have a full set or like half set not just like you know you have a two little plates or two little cups nobody needs that anyway i always check this section out and i always like to look what they have and of course i'm learning the more places you're going more places you see more research you do more different youtube videos you watch more you know and it takes time sometimes a lot of time to learn something so here is everything cheap also like one dollar two dollars but anyway when you go to goodwill beans you can get a, like a whole box of different plates and sources for uh, maybe like four or five dollars they just make up their prices at the register at goodwill beans also i like to see uh, coffee mugs because sometimes you can find really good one like a disney vintage or maybe starbucks which one's selling really good and really fast and for good money Oh my god, I'm telling you all my secrets, what I'm looking for, what I'm doing here and stuff like that. One stuff I'm not looking at, it's electronics. Like, uh, you know, like this, DVDs, DVRs, because, because I have no idea nothing about that. And I get a lot of comments like, why don't you take this? Why don't you pick up that? Uh, people need to understand you can't just pick it up everything. I'm... Uh, one person who running this business from my one bedroom apartment i can just bring everything in my house you know and store everything so i decide to take stuff which one i uh, already know that i know what this stuff sells this kind of brand sells and clothing uh, sometimes also i pick up uh, like a uh, plush toys because i try a couple times and it sold well for me so i'm looking at this section also but electronics, I'm sorry, it's, it's not it's not for me. Even you can make a good money. I know you can make like $40, $50, sometimes even $100. But I don't know nothing about that. Also, when you go to stores like that, it's like in a museum. You go, you look around. It's helped you to relax. Let me tell you my story a little bit about myself. Um, I'm uh, not full-time uh, reseller. I not even a part-time reseller. I would say I'm. Um, that's my hobby. 
that's hobby that's that's uh, what i like to do on my on weekend when i have day off i have a full-time job i work monday till friday and on a weekends i'm going to goodwill stores different thrift stores and um i'm going to goodwill beans it's another pl fun place to go if you've never been you should go there and i like to walk around and look for things and discover new brands and uh, do my research and of course i pick it up a couple of things because my hobby also makes some money and it's not bad money <laughs> makes me actually very good money for doing this part-time and i know a lot of people you know they uh they have a dream for example they work at nine to five job they want to quit their job and do this full time i don't have this dream i am a little bit different uh i have a, an issue uh, the issue is i can do one thing for a long period of time i'm getting bored so fast that's my problem i think that's why I try to do different things in my life to keep myself busy and always switch things. I know for sure if I'm gonna start doing this more often just than just a weekend. Actually, I'm gonna cu cut doing um, resale and just doing once a week. But if I'm gonna do this like every day, I'm not gonna be so excited that I am now. Because when you do the same every day, you get bored so fast i'm talking about myself right now and when i get bored so fast i might quit that's why i want you do this business or my hobby once twice a week and you know when you work all week and you're waiting for a weekend oh my god i i can wait till saturday to go goodwill beans and find uh, new treasures you feel so yourself so excited so i would like to keep this excitement that's why i have a full-time job that's why i'm going to goodwill and thrift store on a weekend that's why i'm doing youtube videos and i have a, a rushing youtube for a while i have my vlogs i have a, i just started tiktok i like to go different like a road trip sometimes once a month just to change everything around you the picture around you and yes i understand that like more often you go to the stores you have uh, more opportunity to find uh, good things and make more money uh, but i hope you understand me it's not about money it's about what makes what makes you happy and going to Goodwill and Goodwill Beans and different small thrift stores makes me happy and makes me so excited and I want to keep doing it just for fun and for some extra cash why not some time ago yeah I was thinking oh that's so cool I like to do this uh, full time and I just work for myself and I go uh, thrift stores every day it's so much fun it is fun but when you're doing this every day it's no fun anymore it's a job but i don't want this to be my job i want to be my hobby which one makes me happy okay that's all about me let's see what else they have here i always like to go to athletic station the brands i don't buy anymore it's uh, lululemon it's not selling anymore except some uh, special uh, models a nike is don't sell so it's not worth to spend five six dollars a pair of shirts it's not selling for me i remember when just pandemic just started and everybody st stuck at home they start doing an exercise so that was the time that nike shirts was selling like crazy <laughs> I used to buy uh, those Nike shirts in this store for five, six dollars and sell, sell them for 20, 25 dollars. And after when everything back to uh, normal, I start to find them at the Goodwill Beans and pay for them like 50 cents a dollar and the shirts just stop selling. Okay, let's check it out what we got. 
so when I finish with my favorite section I'm just going to look everything around and I always go to men's section too because in this store many times I found really good stuff for men's for example I got um, Valencino jeans I got some um, Dior and Barbary uh, bottom-down shorts and men's section I like to look at jackets and I'm going to look at toys after just everywhere okay Lacoste I'm not buying anymore even uh, maybe at Goodwill bins but not even there pink and Victoria's Secrets it's not selling anymore as well so we're gonna pass that you may ask so what are you looking for down here the brands uh, I'm looking here it's uh, Adidas by Stella McCartney. I found three or four skirts here, almost brand new, and I sold them for about $40 and very fast. The North Face also, if it's not so expensive, you might, I might pick it up. I like to find uh, a low yoga and also beyond yoga. I never found beyond yoga yet. That's on my wish list for 2022. Also, I'm looking for Patagonia brand, but today I don't see anything special in this section. But still, I'm not giving up. I'm keep looking and um, hoping for the best. Um, I know the different states they have this uh, special. Like for example, one day everything is like 50% off. So what I realize in uh, South Florida, we don't have that. We don't have a day when everything is 50% off. You always buy full price. Except, yes, once a week they have this, for example, today is a red tag, next week is a, it's a purple tag, and then you have a 50% off on this um, item. But interesting thing, when you have, for example, in this particular store, when you have a 50% off on purple, you're not finding any purple. Or you find some, but for really bad clothes and stuff so I don't know I'm not sure I'm not gonna say anything <laughs> how it works but that's just what I realized okay now we at uh, kids section let's see also if you are looking for stuff always look in different section because sometimes for example a person grabs some shoes from women's shoes section and then just drop them at the kids section it happened once time one time with me i found in the kids section women's boots sorel which one i sold next day for 65 dollars the same with clothes somebody tried it and somebody put it in the wrong place and you never know where is you can find it also people who work there sometimes they don't see the difference between a woman's t-shirt and a kid's t-shirt so they just mix them together always look in every section every every section i like to look at toys because some time ago i found some vintage uh, dolls i'm not sure the brand i think i still have a couple left at my uh, mercari store and I sold a couple really fast for really good money also. So I'm start looking for little dolls now. But funny story before, I never looked at, at the dolls because they look creepy for me. Looks like, I guess I wish too much <laughs> like a ghost stuff and a scary movies where you see, you see those dolls and they are doing some scary things. Anyway, um, uh, some dolls are very pretty and very beautiful and very expensive they're not all creepy if I see a really creepy one I'm going to pass but if I see a pretty little doll which one might makes me good money I'm gonna grab it so I look at those two girl dolls I thought it's uh, really good maybe expensive but not really they selling really uh, cheap I think it's a brand uh, you know the brand Madame Alexander I'm not sure the brand of the dolls, I thought this too is that brand, but it's not. It's something else. Cheaper version. Oh, look, they have another one. Uh, I think, yeah, it's the same brand like uh, previous doll I looked. And um, as I told you, I'm learning. I 
can't know you know everything every brand every toy every shoe every clothes sometimes i'm i might miss something that's why i'm not watching my videos after again <laughs> don't, don't i'm gonna be really upset if i see something in my video and they um okay we're gonna pass on this doll so let's go and see what else we can find today actually i'm going on a site and i'm going to start uh check uh, what i found what brands how much people selling does how much was sold and everything else let's see i'm using google links and i'm using uh, ebay also i found those shoes for kids some people selling them for good money some for a smaller price but uh, something is not right with those shoes so i'm gonna leave them they're actually a little bit broken on the side somewhere now let's go to the woman clothes section i'm looking at uh, every size because they always mix sizes but um, i'm trying to do not buy uh, extra small and small so if i see something good brand medium i'm gonna grab it but i prefer a large size and uh, bigger the same with shoes uh, small size like six six and a half maybe seven seven and a half try to don't buy because uh, it's not selling fast as i wish to so from the woman's uh, shoe size i prefer like 37 and a half and up there was an olive, um, not, not buying it, not paying five, six dollars for that. At Goodwill Beans, I used to pick it up, this brand, but not anymore, not selling for me. Okay, what else we have? So many different tops, clothes, stuff. Okay, we got this uh, free people top i have similar but different color and new and this one looks like a really good condition excellent condition looks like new for me and guess what i'm gonna grab that size large i believe yeah it is size large uh, let me put some music that you can enjoy the show Okay, so now it's the time go on a site and check everything out this very pretty black top but i don't think i'm gonna make good money from that next piece is a rinse rinse is a very expensive brand brand i'm sorry so size extra large really really good shirt but this shirt has a hole so when you get stuff please always look 
if it has any holes, any stains and anything. I found a couple shirts like that, uh, size small, but they look brand new for me. So I checked at Poshmark and um, this kind of brand not really selling for so much money. So if I pay for this couple shirts, like it's $7 each and then I'm gonna sell for $25, so I'm not gonna make much, so I'm not gonna buy that. How much money I want to make from one piece? I want to be able at least to sell one piece for $30 and make at least $20 after all fees. Before I was buying different kind of stuff and I was just, oh, let me just sell it and make $10. So I'm gonna do quality instead of quantity. Now I changed my mind and I'm doing quality instead of quantity. More and better brands and better quality clothes. The North Face, I'm gonna grab it. Now it's a perfect time to sell this kind of clothes. It's a winter somewhere, not in a Florida. Okay, so we're gonna leave this short. We're grabbing the jeans, we're grabbing this a skirt. I just like the skirt, it's very pretty. If you're interested, it's in my store, still there. I'm selling it for $95, but I accept the offers. Those new balance shoes, it's selling for $3 only, can you believe that? And uh, you can sell them for about $30 $35, so I'm grabbing that. I'm grabbing those uh, off the wall vents because it's like men, men's and women's, like unisex shoes. I'm leaving these jeans, they sell for very cheap, it's not like a big brand. Oh, I forgot to show you, I find Allegria, Allegria shoes. They're asking $10 for those, I'm gonna list it for $50. It's my first, my first time finding Allegria shoes. Let's... Those jeans is very cheap brand from one of those Sears or Walmart stores. I found this little uh, Dior wallet, look like vintage for me. And they asking $2 for that. But after I looked closer and it's not real. It's uh, fake. Uh, it looks like a uh, long time ago they was making better fakes than, than doing now. Vintage fake. Let's call it like that. <laughs> okay, the shoes. Uh, another ones. I'm gonna leave it because it's kids shoes. And it's not, it's not, I cannot sell that for much money. Nike shoes, Nike sneakers. I'm gonna leave it behind because it has some uh, uh, holes in it. So I decided to grab a new balance for $3 and Vans for, how much is it, like $8. And um, I'm leaving those shorts behind also. As you can see, I got like 20 pieces in my uh, cart, but I'm keeping only five. Thank you so much everybody for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, support me and my channel, and I'm gonna see you next video. We're going to Goodwill Bins again to look for a treasure. Bye-bye for now. You walk along that street, talking nervously. Be close, it won't be long now. You made me write this song, yeah. Be safe, but don't know how. Be far away from town. Be talking till we can't no more.